Well, welcome to Wisdom for Wednesdays and for all week long. We're in Proverbs chapter 1, and we're going to look at verses 5 through 7. And, and as I'll ask you often, just no matter what you've been doing right before you clicked on this link, just take a breath, slow down, and say, God, let your word speak to my soul. Here we go, verse 5, Proverbs 1. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. For understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. There's lots to be learned here. Let me give you four simple insights that can help you grow in wisdom today and throughout the week. First, if you're wise and discerning already, then you know you need wisdom. That's what Solomon says here. It says that the wise may grow in wisdom. If you say, you know what? I need to grow in wisdom, then you're wise already. If you say, I don't really know need to grow in wisdom, then you need to grow in wisdom. It's kind of a catch-22. If you're wise, you know you need it. If you're not wise, you think you don't need it, but you do need it. Bottom line, we need wisdom, so let's be praying, God, grow me in wisdom. Another thing I want to say about the book of Proverbs is it might not sink in right away. It, it, it talks about that these are Proverbs, they're parables, sometimes they're riddles. We don't just sometimes read Proverbs and go, I get it. We have to marinate in it, we have to think about it, let it kind of turn around in our mind. And so I encourage you that as we walk through these, these moments of wisdom, you'd go into the Bible and read that passage a few more times. Maybe put it on a, on a note card and put it somewhere you're going to see it or put it in your phone as a pop-up to remind you of that simple piece of wisdom. And, and with time, thinking about it, reflecting on it, you'll go, oh, I finally get it. I've had portions of the Bible, it's taken me years to sink in. I got portions of the Bible I still don't think I fully understand yet. I know I don't. We need to let ourselves take time to grow in wisdom. And then there's a starting point that seems like a strange starting point for growth in knowledge and wisdom. And it's called the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. This is not a terror that makes us run away, but it's a awe and, and trembling fear of the glory of God, of the power of God, of the authority of God, of the just judgment of God. We need to take God seriously. Does the Bible say that Jesus calls us friend and we can draw near to him intimately? Absolutely. But he is still the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And in his presence, we bow down. There's this reality that he is God and we are not. So you need to begin praying, God, help me grow in the fear and the awe of who you are. And then one last thought. This portion of the Bible says that fools despise wisdom. Foolish people don't want wisdom. Don't walk the path of a fool. Open your heart. Say, God, I want to grow in wisdom, your wisdom, not worldly wisdom, but divine biblical wisdom. Our focus today is simply this, that wisdom is necessary for all of us. And the fear of the Lord, bowing before him, worshiping him, yielding to him, following his ways above our ways, are a reflection that we are in awe and reverence of His glory and power that we bow to His authority. When we do that, we grow in wisdom. Will you join me in prayer? God, this is our prayer today, that we would grow in wisdom, that we would see Your face and see Your glory, and recognize that although our God is tender and loving and accessible, You are also a consuming fire. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. And to tremble in Your presence is not a sign that we can't draw near to you because we are trembling in your presence, Lord. We come near to you, but when we see your glory, may we be in awe of who you are, of all that you've done, and what you will do ahead. May we grow in your wisdom and become more and more like Jesus. We pray this in his name. Amen. Hey, those of you that are part of Shoreline Church, or if you don't have a church home, join us online or on campus 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock every Sunday morning. Blessings, and I hope to see you there.